What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Hunter Hunter episode 124. Last time Welfin and Ikalgo had a little heart to heart. Um, Welfin kind of just gave up, realized what really matters to him, his brother, wanting to see him again. And kind of just letting all of this go. He just, it's too much, you know, it, it just focus on what makes you happy. Don't. Because power isn't going to make you happy. <laughs> anyway, um, so he tells, uh, yeah, he tells Ikalgo where Palm is. You see Palm crawl out of her cocoon. And she is something else. Someone else? But maybe the same person? Partly? I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess this episode we might find out like how that whole thing affected her. Um... That, I think that's it. So yeah, uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below. Other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. Get the fuck out of here. Like, if any of them had to die, Tim, like, your development absolutely sucks. All you think about is the king, the king, the king. At least the other ones are starting to think for themselves. They're starting to feel things they haven't felt before. I love it. He, it just seems like he's had little to no progress. Your character doesn't do anything for me at this point. Nothing, like nothing. You're, oh, he's the worst. Oh, he's the worst of all the guards. Even Pito, I can sort of understand, like her curiosity, she just wants to see, even though it's fucked up, like fucked up. I can't stand that she experiments on people, but I kind of get it. And seeing her have that whole moment she had with the king and like wanting to protect Komugi because, you, you know, we've talked about all this before, but anyway, uh, maybe I should say it again if it's been a while, but I don't want to waste time talking about things we've already talked about. Um, but anyway, like she's had development, you know what I mean? Like, now she knows why she wants to protect the king. It's not just because. It's because there's an actual bond there. He said he appreciates her. He said he needs her. He's relying on her. Like, she's able to do something that he can't. She has value. Also, let me clarify. She has value outside of just being a soldier. Like, he respects her as a person. And I think he kind of recognized, like I said before, he rec finally recognized her as an individual. Is who she is. The, her feelings, like all of that. He recognized it. He, um, what's the word? He, oh my God. Oh, not recognized. But yeah, that too. But he, maybe that is it. But there's something. No, he. Mm, what is the word I'm looking for? I don't know. We'll just say that for now. He recognized it, and, um, I don't know, like, ah, oh, it's killing me that I can't think of the word I, I want, but maybe that's it. He, oh, it's just making me so mad, I can't think of it. Whatever, moving on. You know what I'm trying to say. He recognized it, and he actually... Ah, uh, fuck, this is killing me. He, like, not, ah. Uh, like, a dress, not a dress. Is it addressed? It? No. Mm, maybe, I guess. Yeah, kind of, he dr uh, directly addressed them. Her. It, those, emotions, feelings. <laughs> I don't know. I hope you get what I'm trying to say. Um, anyway. So, what I'm trying to get at is, which I already said, Shy and Puff has had nothing. Like, even Yuppie realizing, hey, I don't want to kill these guys, but why? I should if I want to protect the king, but I don't. Why? You're questioning these things. You know, like, these different emotions and, I don't know, thoughts that you're having. This guy, I haven't seen anything different aside from 
the king, I know what's best for him, oh, all these people are a bad influence, this, that, 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 that. Like, you don't even question these people and try to, I don't know, see things from a different perspective. I mean, at least the other ones are. Like, she, um, Pito even with Gon. And then, freaking, moving on from that, okay, we've talked about that enough. Killua, this whole thing with Killua, thinking that he, like, Gon doesn't need him or want him anymore, and he can't help him, and, um... Which I think he's been afraid of this whole time. You know, like, what if there comes a day where Gon doesn't want me around anymore? Or, like, he doesn't want to be my friend anymore once he realizes what a truly terrible person I am? Or blah, 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 right? But, you know, that hasn't happened yet. And I think he kind of sort of started to believe, like, maybe that won't ever happen. And then when Gon sat there and said, Oh, you wouldn't understand, Killua, because you don't care. You don't care like I do. You're not affected by this like I am. Or something like that. Essentially, you don't care. And it was just kind of like, this whole time, he had his brother in his head saying, you don't care, you just look at Gon as a possible enemy, you don't actually want to be his friend, blah, blah, blah. Like, you kind of got in his head a little bit there. Like, what do you mean I don't care? Like, I don't feel, what What do you mean, like, Gon, you were the one telling me the complete fucking opposite. Like, and I don't know, it just made me mad. Like, what an ignorant fucking, brutally cold thing to say. You just, like, iced him out, and that, Killua? deserves nothing but love okay let me just say that this kid goes above and beyond to be the best motherfucking friend he could possibly be for you and you do him like that just because you're all wrapped up in your own head doesn't give you the right to treat Killua like he's n just i don't know just don't like to talk down to him like that or to i don't know kind of make him seem like he's the monster in this situation fuck you Gon. absolutely fuck you and for Palm to have to step in and say, don't forget, the one who freaking is so annoyed by Killua, so it was nice that it came from her. But, like, to hear from Palm, of all people, that, hey, the one you'd least expect to give him a pep talk, but like I said, that's why it means more. Uh, you are the one that Gon needs most right now. You, you may say that it's me, but don't forget that it's actually you. You're his best friend. You are the one that tells it to Gon like it is. You tell him straight, you call him on his bullshit. You snap him out of it when he's going batshit crazy. So, you know what? If Gon wants to ice you out and treat you like dog shit, then you just tell him right back. Hey, you know what, Gon? Fuck you. I actually do give a shit. Don't just walk away and give him the silent treatment. Tell him like it is. He's probably scared you because he doesn't want to make him snap, but tell him, like, dude, you just hurt me. You just hurt my feelings. I thought you were my best friend. How could you? I thought you understood me more than anyone else. How could you sit there and say, I don't care when you clearly know that I do? I was just as affected by Kite and his condition as you were. What an ass. I'm so s still when I think about it. So to see Killua break down and cry like that about it, that just shows how hurt he was. Ugh. Ugh. I don't ever want to see this kid cry. Ever. Ever. He's been through too damn much to listen to all this toxic bullshit from all his parents. Or his whole family, not all his parents. His parents, his grandparents, his fucking siblings. One sibling, especially. And now, from the, from him. Like, oh my god. Anyway. Um, but, and then her telling you, like, oh, you're sitting here and saying you're useless, Killua? Look what you just did for her. You broke down that wall between her memories and emotions. You brought her back to herself, almost in a way. Like, you made her complete again. Memories without emotions. Oh. To, to be an emotionless person. Like to actually feel nothing. I just think that would suck. How sad. That's so depressing. To feel no joy. No anger. Nothing. Mm. You're like half living. You're half dead. Really. Your emotions are such a big part of who you are. I don't know. Yeah, you're half of yourself. those were two great episodes we had emotional moments from oh i don't know what that was i think it might have been it was either reddit or patreon which i don't even use reddit i need to delete that app um anyway so <laughs> emotional moments from wealth in which i didn't really expect to happen and Killua and palm 
two people I never thought would have a heart to heart. You know, I thought they would also have that, or always, that's what I meant, always have that kind of, um, that playful banter re regarding Gone, but they had that real heart to heart, and I just, I think it was, like I said, a killer one needed to hear that. I really want him to go back up there and just give Gone. No, 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 I shouldn't say give him a piece of his mind, but I do and I do and don't want him to, because like Killua said, he's on the verge of snapping. And if he snaps, I don't exactly know what that means. Is he going to go on a rampage? Is he going to just break, like, in a, how do I explain, like, um, will he rage or will he just break down and cry or, like, pass out because he just can't handle everything that's happening? Or what? Like, are you scared that if he does go on a rampage, he won't be thinking clearly and therefore, like, when you're not thinking clearly, you're not going to be fighting at your best, so then he'll probably die, which he's already going to be outpowered by Pito. So if you're not thinking clearly, which I don't think he's thinking clearly right now either, but if he snaps, it'll be worse. Like, then he'll definitely die, because like I said, you're not in your right mind. You're, you're not going to be able to think battle strategy and all that stuff. You're just going to just go. And just try to unleash all this power on her. And I mean, I don't know. But like you said with uh, Palm, when everything snaps into pl bleh, when everything snaps into place, you become this powerful. Like, yeah, I guess we haven't seen that from Gon yet. I don't think, not that I can remember, but I think it's going to in this fight. What it is that's going to happen, I don't know. If it's just going to be okay, she's done with the surgery. Now we can fight. Or if maybe with Killua and Palm going up there, that's going to be that thing that makes him snap. Hopefully not, because she is herself still. She may have been experimented on, but she's still there. She's still her. Kite isn't. And that's what really got to go. Like, you... You destroyed my friend. Like, he's not even... He's a shell of who he, He's not even who a shell of who he was. He's just something else. Like, you took him away. Essentially, you killed him, right? That, but then, but he's still alive, so it's like it's a different type of torture. It's fucked up. I don't know. But at least Palm is okay, I think. Hopefully, fingers crossed. She seems relatively fine. She seems like she's even more powerful than she was, and she's still in her right mind, so hopefully he won't snap. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh... Yeah, that's it. Okay, so if this is YouTube, um, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch them on my Patreon. <sighs> Sorry, my shoulder kind of hurts in my neck. So, anyway, um, Patreon, yeah, link for that's in the description below, so check that out. And, uh, I think that's it, right? I kind of ruined my flow, so I can't remember my whole spiel. Like, share, ha, huh, fuck. The link for that's in the description below, so check that out. Yeah. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.